Hello and welcome to this week's video. My name's Philippa and we are continuing over the next few weeks to work with the theme of strength and peace. So these two opposing ideas, one of like really building strength in the body but also just the essence of who we are and at the same time being in a place of peace both within and without. So we're going to begin in a um, gentle seated position of your choice. So I'm sitting up on some blocks. You can be cross-legged, you can have your legs out front, however, or even in a chair, we're working with a chair as well. So all of these postures we're doing in this sitting position, you can do sitting in a chair. So if you're coming to my chair yoga classes, then we're just starting off in the chair. And I'm going to invite you to gently close the eyes or lower the gaze, coming into a place of silence and peace, and bringing the attention into the nose. So we can just breathe in and breathe out gently through the nose, just bringing the awareness to the air moving in, the air moving out. So we're just taking a moment here to land, to arrive, and to be. So I teach four lessons face-to-face -face a week, and with those lessons you get this video each week. And the video is simply of the postures and a little bit of the breathing. So there's quite a lot more to what we do in the classes. If you're interested and you live around me in Mid Wales, you can contact me via the email at the beginning and the end. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up or a comment, subscribe to my channel. It all really helps me. Beautiful. So we're going to begin by just opening the arms up wide. So we're working with some strength today. So we're just going to see if we can just hold the arms open wide for a moment, really feeling the strength in the arms. And at the same time, we're sitting up really tall with the crown chakra facing towards the ceiling but we're also rooting down, so we can, on the exhale, engage the mula bandha, the muscles of the pelvic floor, and feel ourselves rooting down through the floor, through the mat. So we're being here with strength, but also in peace. Lovely, so on your next exhale, I'm going to invite you to bring the arms all the way round and crossing, taking the hands to the backs of the shoulders, giving yourself a big hug here. Then we're going to open the arms again up wide. See how far you can take them back behind you. Still feeling the strength of this posture, holding the arms up like this. If it's getting tiring, see if you can stay, but if it feels impossible, have a break. And then we're going to come back over, crossing the arms the other way and giving yourself a big hug this way. Beautiful. And then finally, coming back, opening the arms really wide again, as wide as you can. Taking another couple of breaths here. And then we're going to drop the hands down onto the knees and just for a moment close the eyes again and taking a little moment just to be with the effects of your practice. So from here we're going to open the arms again but this time we're going to bring them into this cactus shape so you've got the um, elbows out directly at the same height as the shoulders. Take a little look and make sure that they are because it can feel like they're there even when you're like this. So make sure you're in the right position. 
And then from here, we're going to try and keep the elbows in the same place and drop the arms down. So this will feel like you're lifting your shoulders here to try and keep the elbows in the same position. And then inhale, coming back to the same place. Exhale, dropping the hands down. And when we get here, so this does feel like I'm lifting my shoulders, I'm now going to rotate the wrists and the hands one way and then the other. And then raising the arms up, so this feels like I drop the shoulders now. And now I'm going to just do that here just a couple of times each way. Well done. And then again, bring the hands down onto the knees, close the eyes or lower the gaze, and just bring yourself into the moment. So from here, we're going to just take a very gentle little side bend. So take one hand to the ground, lifting the other arm up so you've got the bicep next to the ear. And then we can walk this hand out, keeping both sides of the sit bones on the ground. And we're going to come into a gentle twist here. And I'm going to invite you to see if you can kind of push these ribs out to the side a bit. This helps to keep the sit bones out and it also really helps to open up the side body there. And then we can take a look up under the armpit. Coming up to, we can bring the arms right up here for a moment and then we'll take them down to the other side. So doing the same thing, bicep next to the ear, taking that um, our bottom arm out, coming into the side bend. It feels really different for me this side, it may do for you as well. And then once we're here, seeing if you can push the ribs out to the sides and at the same time relax over into this pose. Feel how that really opens the side body and then we can take a look up under the armpit. Coming back up, and then bringing the hands back down and again just making sure that you let everything go and come into the moment. So from here we're going to do some arm raising. So raising the arms up, really reaching up through the fingers and at the same time rooting down through the root here. And as we are raising up, reaching up through the fingers, we're going to see if we can also just relax the shoulders a little bit. I mean, it's a bit of a conundrum, that, because actually raising up through the arms, it's really difficult to relax the shoulders, but just see if you can have the intention of that. Beautiful. So now we're going to come into a little twist. So taking opposite hand to knee, the other arm down, round behind your back and we're going to inhale here and then just gently move into the twist. We'll take another breath doing that. Then we're going to come back up to the top, so raising the arms back up in exactly the same way as we were. So you can see this is warrior one arms that we're beginning to practice here. So really reaching up through the fingers. Feel the middle finger leading the way and at the same time rooting through the base of the body and seeing if you can relax the shoulders or have the intention of that. And then we're going to go the other way. So other arms going the other way and we're going to take that back arm behind us, raising up on the inhale through the crown and then exhaling into the twist. One more of those. And then we're going to come back through and we're going to do that reaching up again one more time. So rooting down through the floor or through the chair. And rising up through that middle finger, seeing if you can relax the shoulders a little bit more in this pose. Wonderful. And then again, bringing the hands down onto the knees. Maybe have a little roll back of the shoulders just to let them go a little bit, closing the eyes or lowering the gaze and taking a moment to feel the effects of your practice. So now I'm going to invite all those people who are 
um, not in a chair to come to all fours. If you are in a chair, then you're simply going to keep your hands on your knees. We're going to do some cat and cow from here. So you're going to, on an inhale, bring the navel forwards, keep trying to keep the shoulders in the same position. And on the exhale, taking the navel backwards and looking down between your knees. So that's what you're doing if you're in a chair. It's the same thing that we're going to be doing on all fours. So if you're coming to join me in all fours, sun ray fingers here, um, he heels of the hands slightly in front of the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, tops of the feet down. And we're going to do the same thing as the chair people. So just inhaling, taking the spine forward or down, looking forward, exhale, taking the spine to the ceiling or backwards if you're on the chair. So working with that three or four times with the breath, matching breath with movement. Beautiful, trying to make this into a nice fluid, gentle, strong, but peaceful movement. And then the next time you do the exhale, make that the last one coming back to a neutral spine. So whether you're on a chair or um, all fours, we're going to do what's called the toe squat. So we're going to take, tuck the toes, and come back to sit on the heel. So if you're in a chair, you can just bring your feet back and just press down on your toes to um, get the same effect. This is really, really great for the toes, opening up the underside of the toes, really stretching into the toe joints here. So from here, those who are on the floor, we're going to come up to high kneeling. Those in the chairs, just stay where you are with your toes tucked. And we're going to bring the arms up. We're going to see if we can do the same thing as we were when we were um, sitting there with raising the arms up, really reaching up through the fingers and relaxing the shoulders. Inhaling here, we're going to take a back bend, so just moving the body back, trying to keep the chin down. And then exhaling, we're going to bring the hands to the back of the body, like this. I've got my backs of my hands there, but you can bring the fronts if you like. And we're going to see if we can bring the elbows together, taking the chin down, Mula Bandha, so that's the muscles of the pelvic floor as we exhale. Beautiful. And then from here, we're going to step forward into our lunge if you are on the floor. So coming forwards and taking the hands onto the knee and we're going to lunge forward. So making sure you've got this good alignment with the um, knee and the ankle here and we're going to see if we can just drop the whole sensation of the body down so dropping down rooting down through here this is really opening for the hips so if you're on the on the floor like this just being here we're going to raise the arms up like we were really raising up and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a side bend so i'm bending away from you a side bend Seeing if, you won't go very far, but just see if you can open those side ribs. The same thing as we did at the beginning. See if you can push the ribs out the opposite way to the way you're bending. And then coming back over and we'll bring the hands down to either side of that foot. And then we're going to come back into the half splits here and rolling onto the heel of that foot, opening the hamstring, and then coming gently back. 
and this is where I'll show the chair people what they're doing. So chair people, you've been sitting doing everything from your chair. I'm going to invite you now to turn so that you are facing along the, you're sitting sideways on your chair with the back behind you. So we're going to come quite far forward on it. I mean, this chair's quite high. You might have one that's a bit lower, but um, it's coming forward and so, so that you've got one hip on the chair and my other hip is off the chair. This foot is forward and I'm going to take the other foot backwards. So if you can straighten that back, back leg, then that's fine. Um, if not, then, then you can keep it bent and that's fine. And we're just doing the same thing from here. So this is opening for this back hip, not so much for the front. And then we're just doing the same thing. So raising up from here, keeping that knee bent if you need to. Now, if you want, if, if that, you know, if you want a bit more than that, then you can always um, stand here and bring your foot onto the chair like that and do the lunge like this, because this is much more lungy, really. My chair's a bit wobbly, but, um, so it's the same thing, but you're just doing it from standing with your foot on the chair, raising the arms up like this. We're going to do that whole thing again on the other side. So from the toe squat, raising up if you're on the floor, reaching through the fingers, relaxing through the shoulders, coming into a back bend on the inhale, exhale, bringing the hands behind the body, seeing if you can bring the elbows together, and then we're going to exhale and bring the other foot forward. So I am really letting myself go into this um, lunge here, both hands on the front leg, dropping down. And then from here, I'm gonna raise the arms up, reaching up through the fingers, seeing if I can relax through the shoulders. And then I'm gonna side bend, so I'm side bending towards you this time. Seeing if I can push the ribs out the other side. And then coming back up, exhaling both hand, one hand either side of that foot. And then coming back into the half splits, toes down to begin with. And rising up, rolling on that heel, dropping the head to bring a bit more stretch into the back of that leg. And then coming forward back into your dragon. So from here, I'm going to invite everybody to come back into a resting pose. If you're in the chair, you can just do this from there. If you're on the ground, taking the knees wide, big toes together, dropping the bottom back onto the knees, if this works for you. Hands underneath the head and we can take some sighs out. <sighs> just letting everything go for a moment, having a rest. From here, we're going to come back up very briefly through all fours, tucking the toes and raising the bottom, coming up into the dog. So if you're in the chair, just wait a moment. We're going to just begin to do a little bit of walking the dog from here. So taking one heel down and then the other. As you exhale, see if you can drop the chest a bit further down. And then we're going to, just keeping the knees a little bit bent, come into a gentle place of stillness here. So if you're using a chair, then bring the chair to one end of the mat with the um, back of it away from you. So to come into the dog from here, this is a sort of um, upright all fours position. So you're going to take the feet back so that you're in a long position here with your arms out front and then bend the knees because if you try and do this with the legs straight it's really too much on the hamstrings so bending the knees and then from here just see if you can drop the chest let go of the head and this is a modified dog pose it's more or less exactly the same as the dog but it's just it's in a different at a different angle
Beautiful. So just really seeing if you can enjoy this sense of strength in this pose. It's a very strengthening pose. And also of peace. We're bowing down here in a way to be really peaceful. And now we're going to walk the hands towards the feet, the feet towards the hands. Chair people can just drop the hands off the chair. And if you're okay with letting the head go below the heart, then just really let go. If you're not, you can keep your head at heart level, anybody with blood pressure issues. And we can just really let the top of the body go. So just really see if you can let everything go. This is a lovely opening for the low back. Ah. And then in your own time, when you're ready, with nice, nicely um, rooted feet, we're going to come up. I like to come up with a straight spine. They say the straighter the spine, the stronger the muscles. So here we are, we're going to start doing some of our standing poses now. So looking down at your feet, we're going to take a little bit of time into Dasana, which is just the most important and solid pose. So looking down at your feet and seeing how you can be really rooted with your feet directly under your um, hips, preferably pointing forwards and we're going to roll the shoulders back to just make sure we're standing up really tall give the arms and the hands a shake and then just let everything go so just for a moment being here feeling all of your toes really rooted into the mat if this is difficult for you you can always have a chair to hold on next to you and we're going to really feel ourselves dropping through the feet here. Weight in the heels, weight in the balls, weight in the toes. And then bringing the awareness up into the knees. The knees are soft, not locked. The awareness up into the hips, just allowing the torso to gently rest on top of the pelvis. Shoulders relaxed, arms just hanging loosely by your sides, chin slightly down, gaze downwards. From here we're going to come and practice a little bit our Warrior One feet and legs. So I'm going to invite you to come and stand in the centre of the mat, facing the short edge. And I'm going to start by taking my right foot forward so you can do the same or you can mirror whichever you want and I'm going to take it right out to the side of the mat and then bringing um, the other one back and again to the other side of the mat now if you need a chair just have one here next to you here and have one there next to you there so that you've got things to grab onto if you need but what we're going to try and do is from here, we're going to try and bring the shoulders forward, bring the hips as far as they'll come, but they won't come straight forward unless you're incredibly bendy. So just working with what your body is doing. We're just going to have the arms down by the sides. Or if you want the arms out like this to help you balance, then please do that. So from here, we're going to feel this back heel on the ground. So... Um, you know, the foot should be pointing forwards. I see some people teaching this like that. And I really don't like that. I can feel it in the knee. I really like to teach it with the, um, the, the back toes pointing as forward as you can make them. But at the same time, the back heel rooted. So if that feels like I can't really root my heel... I can't feel my heel on the back, then just bring the foot a bit further in towards you. And then because that, then you can get a lot more of a, of a rooted sensation down there. So what we're going to do is in this position, first of all, looking down, making sure you can see your big toes in front of your knee here. 
And then from this position, I'm going to invite you to see if you can raise your front toes and raise your back toes. You won't be able to raise them very far, but just feel if you can rise them up and then put them both down, place them down. And then from here, we're going to see if we can just imagine ourselves dropping through both heels. See how that really helps you to root here. Lovely. So then we're going to, again, if you need your arms out, that's fine. We're going to see if we can lift the heels of the front, the, lift the heel of the front foot so we're up on the toes. And then drop that heel down. And then we're going to lift the heel of the back toes, the back foot, and see how that rises us up. And then again, drop that back toe. So we're really getting this stance here. This, it, this is quite a wide stance. I like to do warrior one on a wide stance because it really gives you a lot more um, ability to balance here. Wonderful. And now we're going to try and do something that's a bit harder. So if you've got a chair and you need it or a wall is fine, what we're going to try and do now is we're going to try and raise up onto both tiptoes from here. You bringing the arms out if that helps and then exhale rooting down through both of those things and from here see if you can really drop down into the earth really letting yourself go. Wonderful. So we do that on the other side so take the other foot forward and back coming into your nice straight position here adjusting shoulders and then we'll do what we did on the other side so raising both to both to the toes on all feet and then dropping those down feeling them really placing themselves back down raising the front heel placing that heel down raising the back heel placing that heel down and then raising both heels Whoop. and do whatever you need to do to balance yourself and then as you drop down really seeing if you can let yourself root into the ground so here we are we're rising up in the legs rising up really strong rooting down and also trying to create a gentle peacefulness within the body. I'm going to do our little sequence that we did last week. I'm going to do it this week. We're going to add something onto the end of it. But I want you to see if you can really tune in to, well, when we're in the Warrior One poses, which we're going to be doing two of them on each side, really see if you can embody what we just created there with the legs and what we've been working with with the arms as well the really reaching up and uh, and relaxing in the shoulders as well so starting in the middle of the mat and we'll start on the first side so stepping forward with the right back with the left coming into the position that really works for you and then here we're going to raise the arms up. So for the first time we're coming into the whole pose that we've been really working towards today with reaching the arms up and rooting through the feet, perhaps lifting the toes again and just really feeling yourself rooting down as you place them back down. Then we're going to open up to warrior two. So we're taking the front arm forward, back arm back, looking over the back, looking over the front. We're going to flip the front palm and then we're coming back into our peaceful warrior. So the back arm goes onto the back leg, looking up at the top arm. And this is where we're then going to come back into warrior one again. So again, see if you can reach up tall, root down, Feeling the weight in both feet. And then here we're going to bring the arms back behind us. Interlace the fingers. Taking those arms back behind us in, on an inhale. Exhale, coming down into humble warrior. Straightening the front leg. 
bringing the arms down and this is where we're going to do our new thing that we haven't done yet so this is we're kind of working towards warrior three but we're not going to actually do it today all we're going to do is to come forward and come up onto the tiptoes of the front of the back leg rather and I've got my um, hands down you can have a block here to uh, if this is not right I've got my front knee bent at the moment and I'm then just going to hop these feet in and come up onto the toes and only if it feels okay just see if you can just lift that back foot up and down and then see if you can straighten the front foot so we're not going to stay there but just see what works for you and then come back down and we'll find our way back up. <sighs> so let's do the whole thing on the other side. So the other foot forward, stepping back on that foot, raising the arms up, warrior one, reaching up, rooting down, opening to warrior two, looking over the back arm, looking over the front arm, Flipping the front palms, peaceful warrior. Coming back up to warrior one again, rooting down, rising up. Exhaling, hands come down behind the body, interlace the fingers in the awkward way, hands going down behind you on the inhale. Exhaling down into humble warrior. Inhaling, straightening that front leg, arms coming down, and then only if it feels okay for you, bringing that foot slightly in and see if you can raise the foot up and down at the back a few times. Beautiful. And back up into Tadasana. So from here we're going to come down and do a couple of counter poses before we come into the relaxation. So come down and meet me in um, semi-supine. So um, heels behind the bottom. We're going to bring the arms out to shoulder height along the ground, keeping the feet where they are. Just drop the knees down to one side and look over the other arm. Inhale, raising up, and exhale, dropping down to the other way. Then we're going to bring the knees back up, bring the um, knees into the chest, grab hold of them with the hands and have a little rock from side to side. And then I'm going to invite you just to take one little bridge pose. So hands by the sides of the bottom. Exhale, drop the lower spine. Inhale, raise the hips up off the ground. Perhaps bringing the arms up above the head if you want to. Exhaling the hands down. And then we're going to come into our Shavasana. So hands out to the sides with the palms facing up. Dropping the legs down, about mat width apart, just let them go. Letting the feet flop out to the sides, closing the eyes. Coming into the moment, so you can be here for as long as you like. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you love what I'm doing um, and you would like to support me, I'm really open for donations. 
you can contact me via the email at the beginning and the end of the video. Namaste.